Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can use iAsync in normal block T, which is a new feature in C Sharp 8. This new feature allows you to read enumerable beta in an asynchronous way, which means you don't have to wait to get all the data to process them. So for the first demo, I want to be able to upload a large file to my server, which contains more than 4 million usernames and find my own name here without reading all the file. We are going to read this file line by line using iasync enumerable and if there is a match I want to return the number of uh, the line which contains my name. Now let's upload this file and you can see immediately we get this number which is correct. The point is I didn't have to wait to read all the file, all the 4 million lines to find this name. Also, I didn't have to save this file back in my server side hardware uh, just to read this data. I'm reading this file line by line in an asynchronous way and also uh, it helps me to process the file without writing it down in my server so here i have an action which receives the uploading file and i pass it to another action or another method called read line this read line returns an i async enumerable of a string which is the content of each line i open read a stream here and pick if it's end of the file and if it's not uh, i read that line in an asynchronous way and return the line using yield return and I count each line as I am reading if it's a match I break and if it's not I plus plus one to uh, count the lines I'm reading it's very simple and let's see how exactly it's working let's put some breakpoints here and run in a debugging mode I'm going to upload the file again you submit here and as you can see immediately we reach this method and we are reading the first line and let's continue we are at counter one and the line is Michael or Michelle and if I go to first line you can see this here let's continue and we are counter two and John and this is uh, what we are reading so let's go on and it reads each line in an asynchronous and separate way and returns it to uh, the other action so you don't have to wait for all, all the file to be uploaded and it's a lot more faster and more optimized in this way okay my first demo was kind of boring and for the next demo i am going to upload some bitcoin price history data from client to the server and ask server to read this data line by line and stream it back to the client using signalr and uh, basically it's the same app code the same application and this, this file this method has never has not changed but uh, i'm just adding uh, this uh, hop chart hop interface and uh, methods to use signal r and send data back to the client uh, let's see this application in action here i have uh, some bitcoin history data and contains 652 lines so we are going to upload this file to the server and this is the date and this is the price we are going to show in our chart here and i have already selected the file let's submit it and as you can see 
as data is being uploaded and being read in my server uh, i am using signal r to signal it back to the client and using chart js to show this data unfortunately at the end there is some uh, lagging because of chart js animations uh, i'm sure we can find a way to fix it but for this demo it's enough so you can see that um, we can use IAC enumerable to read some data it doesn't have to be uploaded from the client it can be read from your database or hardware in your server and then you can use it to stream data uh, to the client or to search data or uh, many more use cases you can download this project uh, called iasync a demo from my github and so i hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching please like and subscribe